IVF success rates are another highly complex issue uh, in our specialty uh, because different people consider different things as success. Because outcome numbers obviously depend on who the patients are who you're treating. And, and CHR in many ways is a very good example. 90% uh, of patients who come to CHR before coming to CHR have already been to at least one other IVF center and have failed IVF at other IVF centers. Over 50% of patients who come to CHR have been told by at least one other IVF center that uh, they are done with use of their own eggs, they should actually go into egg donation. So CHR serves probably the most adversely selected uh, patient population of any IVF center in the U.S. and probably in the world. Nevertheless, we here at CHR uh, are very proud uh, in enlisting our pregnancy outcomes because despite the fact that we have such a highly adversely selected patient population, uh, we still have excellent uh, pregnancy rates in them. And, you know, that's all one can say, even though we would never compare our outcomes to those uh, of another center. Uh, our recommendation to educated patients, and most educated patients by now know this, is don't only look at uh, pregnancy rates. Also ask who the patients are that the center treats. And if they uh, have very uh, high exclusion rates, if they don't treat patients above a certain age, or if they don't treat uh, patients uh, unless they have a certain minimum number of follicles, or if they don't treat patients above a certain FSH, understand what that means in terms of outcome results.